Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Aaron, and um, I'm going to be doing a quick little presentation here explaining to you guys the easiest slash most effective way to talk to girls during the day. So the reason why I say it's the easiest because it's sort of the one thing that would come to mind um, in regards to if you were to just scramble and think to yourself, oh, what's like the first thing I could ask? Um, but it's also the most effective. And what we're going to be covering is the directional opener um, and then turning that into the instant date, okay? So what I've done is I've broken this down into a four-step process for you guys. Um, I'm actually in the car right now. I'm getting ready to head to New York City. I'm going to be doing a day game meetup there, uh, some coaching, filming some vids, running some game for about four or five days. Very excited about it. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and record this for you guys, and I hope that you can really learn a lot from it. So step one. Um, loosen up and choose your instant date location, okay? So for the following steps, it's going to be very important two things here. One, that you know where you would ideally like to go for the instant date, all right? So, you know, don't just think to yourself, oh, I want to try to get the girl to go, you know, anywhere with me, but rather have a goal in mind, and that'll become a lot more clear as to why in the following step. Um, you know, part two of this step here is to loosen up. So, you know, a huge part of the reason why guys don't do so well in the daytime when they go up and approach girls is because the girl can sense the fear. She can sense that you're uncomfortable and it makes her uncomfortable. It's called the law of state transference. The way that you feel is the way that she's going to feel. So what I want you guys to really do is follow the three S's, which is something I'm going to be talking about in a lot of videos here soon, which is um, smile, swagger, socialize, okay? So get a big smile on your face and get really amped up, okay? Just get like excited about the fact that you're going to go out and you're going to start talking to girls, okay? Even if you're just on your own, if you're on your drive to the mall, whatever it is, loosen up. Part two is uh, swagger, okay? So get your posture up, loosen your body up a little bit, you know, really get ready. Um, and then socialize. So, you know, start talking to people here and there, just, hey, really, uh, I really like your shirt. Hey, how's it going? Hi, hey, I hope you're having a good day. Just really start talking to people. Smile, swagger, socialize. So loosen up and choose your instant day location. So that way then when you do start talking to girls, um, you are already sort of starting to get into your zone and, and you're ready to do so, okay? So step number two is your opening question, okay? This is gonna be how you're going to, um, you know, ask the girl for directions somewhere, all right? So, excuse me, do you know if there's a Starbucks here in the mall? So, you know, ideally with this question, you will know that there is a Starbucks here in the mall. Um, if you're walking around the streets and you wanna go to the, the Panera or something, you say, excuse me, do you know where the, the, the Panera is here, you know, here in the short north, whatever it is? And um, then, you know, so, so that's one of your options for the questions, okay? Um, excuse me, do you happen to know if there's anything good to eat around here? That's a little more open-ended. So um, what that could be then is she suggests somewhere to you. And that could be powerful because if she suggests it to you and then, you know, here in the following steps when you're going for the instant date and you try to get her to go over there with you, it's somewhere that she already likes. So that's an option for you as well. And then, um, hey, there's supposed to be a cool juice spot around here. So you go in and, uh, you know, you really act it out. You really own it. You go up to her and you say, you say hey, uh, there's supposed to be like a cool juice spot around here. And ideally, again, you will know that the juice spot is already there. And so she'll say, oh, oh yeah, I think it's called um, Native uh, Fresh Juice. That's, that's what you're looking for? Yeah, 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 it totally is. So these are just a few, you know, um, you know, very basic here. Uh, just some things that you can say to the girl when you're going up and trying to, you know, get, get the directions for step two. Okay, now her response is going to be generally one of three things, okay? Now, there's going to be other little variations of it, but it's going to be one of these three, okay? A, uh, I'm not actually sure. B, yeah, it's just right down that way and to the left. She's going to give you the directions, okay? C, sorry, I'm in a huge hurry and have to keep going, okay? Now, again, what I'm teaching you here is the directional opener all the way through to the instant date. So I'm not just telling you, oh, go up and ask directions and then see if she wants to hang out. This is a step-by-step. -step. So step one we've covered is the um, loosen up and figure out what you would ideally like for your instant date location to be, okay? And then step number two is I broke down the questions that you can ask her. You know, hey, where's the Starbucks? This supposed to be a cool juice spot around here. Is there anything good to eat around here? Something to that nature, okay? And then these are her responses. Now the following step, step three, is the conversational transition, okay? And so what I'm trying to teach you guys here is, you know, one of the things that I really stand for and that I teach in Evolution Daily is um, really developing your improvisational skills. So, you know, I could teach you 
And you know, who knows, maybe eventually I will put together some videos where I, you know, I teach you just the exact lines that I use. And then I just give you fucking bang, 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 every single response that you can use in response to what she's saying. And, you know, lay out these full long dialogues for you. I might do that a little bit here and there, but ideally you want to get good at it improvising. Okay. So what I did is I put here in the corner, um, just as a quick little reminder, what the responses, her potential responses are. Okay. So three, a, if she says, I'm not actually sure, cool. No problem. Are you not from around here? And then you get to chit-chatting about where she is from. Oh, no, she is from around here. She hasn't been to this mall. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I haven't really been here too much uh, either. Where do you you usually uh, shop, you know? Uh, 3B, if she says, yeah, it's just right down that way to the left. Awesome. So you must hang out here a lot, huh? And then she starts saying, oh, well, I'm from the area. So, uh, yeah, I've come here. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, I've I've been here quite a number of times. Uh, another option for, for if her response is B, uh, cool, thanks. You must be from around here. So you just dive right into the fact that, you know, she is from around here. Then maybe she adds something like, oh, well, I moved here a couple years ago. Or, yeah, born and raised here my whole life. Um, and then you transition to anything from there. You know, did you go to school around here? You know, I'm not from around here. Actually, I, I've only lived here for about a year or I'm here on vacation. Whatever that may be. Thanks. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? This is a little more playful again. And, you know, I've got it laid out here to where, you know, three A, that's if her response is in the A category. B, yeah, it's just right down that way to the left. She gives you the directions. You can say, thanks. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you? And she says, no, why would I do that? And then boom, again, I'm just trying to get you guys into that mode to where you're now able to improvise based on her responses and have a good time with the interaction. Three C, the letters that I put here in red is because you need to say them with some intensity, okay? Hold on just one second. I actually just thought you were hot and I wanted to say, hey, okay? And the reason why I say that you're gonna have to say that with some intensity is because, again, if her response is, sorry, I'm in a huge hurry and have to keep going, you know, um, if it's something, you know, to that nature, then she's gonna, she's gonna just keep trying to walk by you. So you're gonna have to use some intensity. Hold on, hold on, just one second, just one second, okay? I actually just thought that you were hot and, uh, you know, I wanted to say, hey, okay? Or I have to get going, but I can walk with you for a minute. So again, with some intensity, because you know, you, you can't just be passively standing there as she's trying to like escape you essentially and expect for her to just respond to you being like, well, hold, hold on just, just one second. Okay. You're going to be like, like, I only have a minute, but I, I can walk with you. So, um, you know, that's a few options that you can use, you know, if she is just trying to keep moving along. Um, another really good one is, and again, the letters in red are, you know, you say with some intensity, you say, you say, look, 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 I know this is weird. But let me get your number real quick and we can get to know each other. I promise I'm the coolest guy that's ever randomly asked for your number. Because the fact of the matter is that sometimes it's not just some resistance because you're a stranger. Sometimes they really have to get going. Um, I'll approach girls a lot of the times that are on their lunch breaks between work. Um, They really are going to meet up with somebody. And, you know, they're they're being sincere when they tell you, like, I've got to, I got to go. Sorry. And so then that's why these options here are so powerful. So you get her to hold on for just a second or, you know, you tell her that you can walk with her. Um, ideally you can actually stack any of these and, you know, hold on just a second. I actually just thought you were hot. I wanted to say, Hey, and then if she keeps going, you say, well, I only have a minute, but I can keep walking with you. So, um, a lot of the times you'll hear guys talking about how you don't really ever want to walk with girls. I don't think that's necessarily true. If the girl is trying to keep going and it's not from like a repulsed way, which you should be able to tell if she's just not into you. If it's really like, I've got to fucking keep going. Then this little two to three minute walk that you take with her could actually, especially if you're just out to game and you're not like, you know, doing approaches like while you're out doing your thing, but you're out just to game, this little two or three minutes could be enough time for you to build enough rapport with her and enough comfort for her to actually want to respond later when you get her phone number. All right. So step four. Um, so we've covered, you know, loosening up and uh, choosing where the instant date location is going to be. And then we covered the uh, question that you're going to be asking her of the directions and then the conversational transition to take it just from the directions into, you know, building some comfort and then where we're going now, which is the instant date. All right. So different ways to do the instant date here. So a lot of the times I'll be talking to a girl and I'll say, uh, yeah, so what happened was I was at Ohio State for about a year and a half. And then honestly, there was just something that was making me just feel, you know what? I actually only have a few minutes. Um, I'm going to go grab a coffee. I'd love for you to join me. So see, what I was doing there is I was in the midst of my conversation. And I say, you know what? And I interrupt myself. So ideally, she's actually a little bit engaged in the conversation and then the interruption and saying, you know what, I'm going to go grab this coffee. I'd love for you to join me. Um, Then 
you know, th- that's going to be your ideal. And then she's going to hopefully come along with you because she wants to hear more about what you're saying and she's enjoying herself. Or in conclusion, basically meaning that, you know, maybe you guys have been having this conversation and it kind of just sort of started to fade out. You say, well, hey, I only have about 15 minutes, but I'm going to go grab a coffee, you know, drink, a bite to eat, whatever it is. Uh, you should join me. And it's really important here to uh, note what I'm doing here, which is in both of these, I say, I only have a few minutes or I only have about 15 minutes. And what that's doing is that's not making the girl think that, oh, you guys are going to go grab lunch and then she might be there for an hour. By saying that you only have a few minutes, by saying that you only have about 15 minutes, that to her in her mind when she's rationalizing going with a stranger to go grab a drink or some coffee or some food, that in her mind, that makes her feel like, oh, it's only going to be for a few minutes. So one, if it's not going well, I can get going. Or two, if I genuinely am busy today, then I'm only going to be hanging out with this guy for a few minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Um, And again... What'll happen is on these little instant dates, I just had a girl at the bar the other night who I tried to isolate from her friends and I actually got her to come sit on the couches with me. But during that, I had said to her at the club, I had said to her, it'll only be about three minutes. I was like, just give me like three minutes. She's like, okay. She comes over, we're having a really good time. It's like fucking half hour, 45 minutes later. She doesn't say, I thought you only had three minutes, you know? Um, so now in the event that, that she cannot, okay, in the event that she cannot come on the incident, you say, all right, no problem. I'd really love to hang out sometime, but how about I get your number and we get to know each other a little more. So, um, you know, you, you're, you're just, you, you're basically just taking what you can get here at this point. Um, and you know, this is powerful because, um, a lot of the times your numbers are going to be flakes, okay? Without the instant day, without getting a really good solid isolation in the club, building some serious comfort, getting her to, you know, showing off a lot of who you are and things, um, the numbers are going to flake. However, I've had a lot of girls, you know, I've been in the game for so long now that I've had times where I've spent an entire evening with a girl and she ends up not responding to me the next day. And then I've had situations where I got a fluke fucking number in line at a bar and we didn't see each other again the rest of the night and then she's down to hang out the next night. So you never know. And the goal here is to really keep your leads funnel stacked, okay? So just in the same way with sales as you're trying to get a whole lot of leads and trying to funnel them down into people that buy products, the same goes this way, okay? You want to get these girls' numbers. If you're not going to close the door, then don't open the door. Meaning that in the interaction, you should be trying to close in one way or another, okay? Now, in the, um, you know, you're, in the instant date, I'm not really going to get all into like the whole dialogue dynamics, you know, what to talk about on the instant date. I do have a free course over here at evolutiondaily.com slash free course. You guys can head over there and sign up for the free course where I do go into depth on a lot of the different ways, um, the different things that you can talk about to girls on the instant dates, as well as um, I even break down like a really seriously awesome exercise in that course on essentially how you can never run out of things to say again and what's appropriate to talk about on a date and what's not appropriate to talk about on a date. Uh, so I think you guys would really enjoy that if, if you wanted to, you know, check out the free course. So again, guys, we've covered um, four step process here, lose it up and choose the instant date location. Uh, step two here is using your directional opener. You know, I've given you a few options for those, you know, cater those to, you know, the, the world around you, wherever you are running game. I've given you the conversational transition based on her response. So it's not some lines that you need to memorize, but rather a way of looking at things. And so that way you are able to start casually engaging girls in conversation in a way that makes them see, oh, he's a cool guy. He's telling some good stories. I like the way that we're having a back and forth. It's great. And then we got into the instant date and the best ways to get her to go on the instant date. All right. So thank you guys for tuning into this. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, You know, the easiest, most effective way to talk to girls during the day. Honestly, I I, I called it that because it's the easiest because it's the first thing that comes to mind, but it's the most effective because I've had a ton of results. I've been doing directional openers since I first started game, but I wasn't having results from them until I started to learn all these little tricks. And I basically just taught you here in this video. Okay. So thank you guys very much for watching. Again, I include the link right here for that free course. Uh, The clickable link is in the description below. Um, I also have here the Facebook group, the Evolution Daily Facebook group. Um, Pretty much as soon as I get done doing this video, I'm actually going to go over there and do a live, um, you know, a Facebook live video in the Evolution Daily Facebook group. I'm doing live videos there, Facebook live vids, like every day, answering your guys' questions, talking to you guys. A lot of you have come over from the YouTube channel and joined me over there. I appreciate that. I love that group. Uh, really cultivating a great community over there. So go ahead and join me over there. And uh, I really hope this helps you guys out. 
really go out and try this, rewatch this, maybe jot down some notes, take it out with you, whatever. And um, I hope that this can uh, help you get laid or get a girlfriend or you know whatever the fuck it is that you want. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.